working with a lot of women, I, I hear this expression, oh, I just, I really long that there is a man who can contain me, if just he can contain my full power and not run away, right? That's a, it's a statement that a, a lot of women are sharing. And yes, there is a, a full truth in that. But my question is, or our question is, can you actually yourself contain a man in his full fucking power and expression? That is a question for you as a woman to really feel in, can you actually contain a man in his full fucking expression and power? And on the other side, this, this longing that you have as a man to open a woman and maybe you can think, oh, where is this really open woman? Where is this, you know, where this divine experience through a woman? And maybe there could be a pattern here of, I try a little bit here, I try a little bit there with different women. But the question is here, to, you know, if, if she is going to open fully to her depths, to her full being, are you willing to open to the depths of your full being? Are you capable of surrendering? And do you know how vulnerable it is for a woman to fully surrender? Have you experienced that level of vulnerability yourself, so you know exactly what it feels like. I feel like sharing a little um, personal story, which is tying a little bit to the question I shared in the beginning. Because what, what happened for me as a woman on my journey when I decided to take full responsibility for my body and letting go of the longing outside and to really do the work with my body to clear out blockages and traumas and things that were there and and really open my body to become multi-orgasmic in that journey of releasing all those things and really diving in and and also being comfortable and getting to know myself as a woman in all my different expressions and ranges and being comfortable with my anger and my my fucking ability to be with my rage and let that out and all the energies that I am and to really be with that in myself and I also did like healing work with with my inner man and woman and a lot of different things, shadow work and all this. What happened, meeting a man after really, got, do, do, really going deep, was that I was actually capable in my nervous system to fully contain a man's full expression. Meaning that whatever he would come with in his free expression or if there was this primal energy I noticed that I no longer froze I didn't go into freeze mode and I also didn't try to fight him or reject him but I was able to I am able to from my heart, from love, from empathy, and with expanded nervous system to actually contain his full, full, full being. And it also means him coming with his primal force and power, for example, or dirty secrets or anything that when I do the work as a woman, I am also able to, to contain him. And not only is it really, really touching to, to do that, but it's also 
making it possible to really circulate energy in a totally different way. Because we are able to, as beings, to be with everything that we are because we accept ourselves and we do the work ourselves. And it's almost like that we become this full instrument. I don't know if there is any musicians here, but a full mus instrument of the deep tones and no, 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 little, little. And we can play this piano, this bass of being fucking every fucking thing that we are and we can relate outward, the music comes out and we are the instrument inside. And to, to be connected from all the way down in our root in the most primal and all the way up to the ding, 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 ding. <laughs> tones, right? And that the instrument, as we go down deep into the body, we learn to get this circulate, this energy, this music out in a way that becomes music, if I should lose, use this picture, to other people. Rather than, than that we are projecting or you know, putting things out there that are closing the energy, we can learn to use the energy as a force to open. So for example, I know my inner man quite well. I've done a lot of dominatrix stuff, but I also do teach how to open a woman's body and do body work on a woman, how to open her. And when I'm in my masculine capacity and doing body work and the woman starts to open i feel my inner man and the conflict or the energy the primal energy of like whoa i just wanna really really in a way take her or open her of course i'm not doing that as a professional but it's like i can feel the force it's like i just want to go there in one way and the the force can also go in a different direction, which is, of course, the professional space. It is to channel it into even deeper presence, even deeper love. And to learn to contain that energy and stay in love and stay in love and let her open and open and open and open and open and open, and open until she, her and this now I'm not talking sessions, but now I'm talking in an intimate setting until her vagina and her body is actually sucking in for the cock. Instead of forcing into something that is not open, when the masculine learns to contain that energy and stay present, stay present and really penetrate with that love, love her fully, her body and her vagina will open by itself. And then the conscious ravisher can come because he's invited in and to really penetrate. Do you feel this? yeah and, and that's if you talk about men and women and it's like most men are when the woman open up to horniness we lose ourselves and that was my story i lost myself into the woman and instead of taking a step back and holding the presence and waiting and waiting and waiting almost like she's gonna beg for my cock she's gonna be like really okay can you fucking, I want to get that cock now. No, 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 wait a little bit more. And like teasing her, teasing it out, teasing it out. And like, ah, ah. And then when, when you, you give her always, almost a little bit less than she wants mm -hmm. so that she has the ability to open up to her feminine. 
because if I'm going too fast and like she doesn't have a place to expand, but if like she can almost like meet, I want more and I want more. She's mm -hmm. kind of waiting for it. And I had to find that edge. I can give her some, but it's like, oh, but this is, and this is so horny when you see a woman lying there and just want, it's like, ah, uh, so I need to breathe it in. I need to, ah, uh, that's where this full body orgasm and being, a, and also being able to conserve your sexual energy so that you can breathe it up and you can, ah, uh, it's so juicy with that feminine energy, but it's like, ah, oh, I need to conduct that. And that's why the man really needs to be able to hold his feminine energy mm. and, and get to know his femininity. Mm. And, and from there, we haven't talked now. We had a, even a, a, a talk around the armoring. So it's important to know that the deep layer of the vagina is ready to be penetrated because mm. often in the cervix there is a pain and you can have some de-armoring but it, you really need to be aware that that the cervix can have pain and traumas and so either de-armoring with your finger or you can de-armor with your penis and 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 kind of gently starting but you again you are not there to force anything to happen as a man but you you're waiting you're waiting and you're waiting and and you go a little bit faster and faster or harder and you can even ask do you want more and like almost like she again she's going to beg to get more mm -hmm. and you're looking at her body you're looking that she's breathing you're looking that she's kind of you ask her to push the energy towards your cock instead of sucking and as a bad habit she pushing the energy towards you and towards the cock and she feels the cock again as i did in meditation that you, there is a meeting mm. and from there th yeah. things can come up like here the play come up here you can play out fantasies here and you can and go harder and harder. Mm. Maybe you want to share before we go there. Yeah, but <laughs> just to say that for for a woman to fully open to her multi-orgasmic potential and her deepest wisdom in that, she needs to be de-armored. And if the vagina and the stomach is armored, it's not going to be possible. So that's why it's very useful to know the armoring and and actually the best best thing is that when the man and the cock hits a point in the vagina and if there is pain there that he she says i feel pain now can you please stay present here and that he holds that point and and helps her breathe into that pain that is there for the body to release that you know it's it's slowing down extracting and being with what is and then whew, the body can open even deeper even deeper right and, and so and, and, yeah. and yeah i want to also stop here a bit because in this process and what i see in one of the message in that there is a deep deep longing and there can also come up trauma they can come up sadness there is a like i'm longing my body longing to be loved in this deep way and there is also all stories of not being loved in this way which might be come off the surface and that here we talked about the healing the trauma healing things which is coming up so it's it's to really be aware to not becoming again as a man goal oriented now i'm gonna fuck her into a deeper orgasm and I'm going to do it. It's like, no, we need to stop here. There is a deeper wounding coming up, which hasn't been able to come up because there hasn't been presence for that, this to come up before. So to, to give space and sometimes we need to take a break and just lie with each other and relax 
hold each other. And, and so the body knows where this journey goes and, and it, it, to go into the full ravishment can maybe take months and years. And, and, and that's where I really believe in a committed relationship of creating that safety that you you are making love to the same partner and but that the the body and the the journey is what's it's it's not the goal on that journey but it's to be in the present mm. and here if playfulness comes welcome it if sorrow comes welcome it whatever comes in in the the, the expression let it come and stay present with it mm. enjoy it but that's for me that's the tantra is to, to really not know where we are going together i don't know what's in her body i don't know actually what's i gonna feel in the next moment either mm. so so yeah mm. so i just want to kind of say like okay there can come this tears they can come of this wounding they can come up to play out fantasies they can mother father all kind of things can happen and, and and then there is this level which which we talk about which we call the ravisher and the rav, uh, to be ravished so if a woman is made love to a long time half an hour 40 minutes 50 minutes there comes a deep layer of her which she maybe have suppressed and she's getting so horny she's getting so she really almost like begging for that cock and just it's like fuck me fuck me fuck me fuck me i just ah ah and she's kind of just almost screaming after that cock but this is a shameful place for most women to be that horny and what most women are doing then then they're going on the clitoris and they want to peek it so so they they kind of want to peek the energy out so what a, a practice then for us men is like okay no wait we don't now i'm going to, if i'm going too fast that you can't conduct this sexual energy okay let's slow it down let's slow it down so that we practice to that you can really hold that energy. And then we build up again. And, and I, as a man, maybe I need to have a break. I, I, I need to be massaged. I need to go into my feminine and to, to fully surrender. Uh, if not, I will, I will come uh, when, when this is coming. So, because when she, the woman again, like fully open up to her sluttiness, and and like fully fully wants me there's a huge healing gift for me to fully go there with my full power because i'm afraid of being a rapist i'm afraid of hurting her i'm afraid of misusing my power but if i'm not really owning my ravisher i will come if i'm want to perform from it it's so pleasurable what is a de-armored vagina and a, and a woman who really opens to that, it's so pleasurable. So, and if I not worked on my feminine energy to take her fully in, I will come, boom. So it's a tough, yeah, it's a tough practice for us men. <laughs> uh, but also and, worth it. Uh, it is, <laughs> but there is like, okay, when I then can I hold fully space for her to fully ah 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 be taken, it comes a moment where I I, I just also just want to fuck her for my, I just want to take her and ah and I really need to get in touch with my primal anger to just fuck fuck I just want to fuck you and ah and go hard 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 in order. If, if I'm not then fully in my penis and fully in my power, I will come and then take her there, but still seeing that she's there, she can take it. And what comes often then is, is a way of praying. So I, almost like bringing a prayer in at the point 
to use this sexual energy for for not for my sake but from a higher cause and from there if i can relax into my full power and take over that edge there can be then this womb orgasm coming up and where the god and the goddess are really making love and it comes a divine presence in there this intimacy after this kind of orgasm is staying can stay for for days it's like there's nothing more pleasurable for me when i see a woman is fully taken home in deep love making and she's just happy and she can be it's like if my woman is happy then i'm happy <laughs> it's like she blesses me with her femininity and it's like ah and then we can make love again anytime there is not this deep dough down of, of the of the dopamine and oxytocin which separate us but we are actually more in union for for longer time so yeah <laughs> heavy wife heavy life <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are simple <laughs> oh, love that. oh yes <laughs>